So this is a video of my catfish breeding tank and it looks like that they're getting ready to spawn. I have a male and a female in here. It's hard to see with the reflection. There you go, that's my male right there. And there's the female right there. And uh, I put these guys in here last year and they spawned three times last year. And I hatched the eggs and uh, those guys are still doing pretty good now. So they're gonna spawn here pretty soon. And I know this because I looked down into the tank while I was just feeding and that's why there's some feed floating on top. And you can see that spot down there where the male is. He's swimming over to guard his red. He swept that out in the bottom of the tank. And he's going to try to entice the female to spawn with him. And so this might take a few days. And uh, once she gets used to the idea, she'll start hanging out in there with him. And then one of these mornings I'll come in and there'll be some eggs in there. And then what I'll do is I'll give them a few days to start to ripen up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I will scoop them out and I'll put them in a stainless steel basket and aerate them really good and hatch them. And then we'll have more catfish. And so I've done this a few times with success and so I'm kind of excited that uh, this is happening again. I uh, did some experiments over the winter to see if I get them to spawn during the winter by maintaining their tank temperatures but um, that didn't work out. You know they've got a biological clock and uh, they're gonna spawn according to that cycle and uh, the corresponding water temperature. I've got a couple other guys in here that were from last year. They were they were uh, born in this tank in one of my uh, first batches, and uh, they hid from me, and I, I didn't know they were in there, and so uh, I need to catch them. There's two in here, and I don't want them to interfere. I don't want them to try to uh, eat the eggs or the larva. Um, well, there's, there shouldn't be larva in here once I get them out, but there might be a few that get, if a few eggs get scattered, before I scoop them out, that they might hatch out in the tank. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that the female will uh, suck up the larva out of the gravel bed if they hatch out in this tank. Uh, I, I don't know why. I think it has something to do with um, they're trying to maintain you know, population levels and if they're in a confined space and they think there's going to be too many of them she'll just start sucking them up out of the gravel and, and eating them. So that's why you want to remove the eggs uh, from the aquarium and, and uh, uh, hatch them separately. So I'm going to have to try to catch these guys. Um, another thing too is the male is going to get very aggressive and, uh, and he'll probably kill them if he gets the chance uh, once the eggs are laid. Uh, it will be a challenge for me to get the eggs away from him. Uh, he will try to bite me and he has before. I'll usually use a net that I'll put between uh, uh, him and my uh, hand and the eggs and uh, he'll attack the net. It's got little bite marks in it. You can tell he has an abrasion on his